What's good, BitRushers? My name's D5Brains. We're back for another edition of BitRush Crypto's weekly NFT news. Every week we go through the top NFT news, so if you guys enjoy that type of thing, make sure you're subbed to my channel with the bell on to be notified as videos drop. We also have lots of other great content, so you will enjoy what we have here on the channel. You'll be able to find all the links to today's news articles in the description below, as well as all of the social media and important links for my channel. If you have any questions or concerns or any other things you'd like me to take a look at, make sure you leave a comment below. Just don't leave any links because they will automatically be blocked. And without further ado, let's get into the video. And if any of you are interested in creating your own NFT project, we've created a community for artists and creators called Abraxas DAO. You can follow us on Twitter at Abraxas underscore DAO. And you can also join up our Discord, discord.gg forward slash Abraxas if you need any help with your artwork, smart contracts, minting DAP, anything like that, or even marketing. We have a bunch of great chats, a lot of active members creating NFTs and being part of a really great community here. So again, if you guys are interested in creating your own NFT, go ahead and join up the Abraxas DAO. Link will also be in the description below. And starting out today's news, we have OpenSea updates its duplication controls and verification process. NFT trading heavyweight OpenSea is finally getting its act together and tackling the age-old problem of platform fraud, therefore deploying improvements to both its verification process and duplication detection protocol. Firstly, OpenSea will look to take on the outright plagiarism it calls politely copy mints, achieving this goal by utilizing image detection software that takes into consideration mirrored and rotated images, while additionally employing human intervention to make the final judgment call. Imitations and plagiarism are growing issues in the world of NFTs. Today, we're rolling out changes aimed at improving authenticity and reducing copy mints on OpenSea. And you guys can read their blog post if you'd like right there. And then second on their list, OpenSea has given its verification process a major overhaul. Going forward, a two-tiered approach will see verification applied at both the account and collection level. Initially, any accounts recording over 100 Ethereum and trading volume will receive an invite to apply for the program, arriving in the form of a blue banner at the top of their OpenSea window. Then users must complete the com verification process, including a profile picture, naming the account, registering an email, and linking a Twitter profile. And these are all super basic things for having a profile there, so no big deal. Following which OpenSea will consider them for inclusion. Once in possession of their account level blue check mark, users can then apply for a collection level badge, basically following the same 100 ETH rule setup. So I think this is really great. There is a lot of copycats and scammers and spammers and all kinds of people just ripping off other people's artwork. So it's great to see they're stepping up and using some of the funds they're making to kind of combat this and have actual verified accounts. I do think that is definitely necessary and this is a really great step in the right direction from OpenSea. However, I do feel the 100 ETH is still fairly high. Um, that's mainly going to be super popular collections or, you know, people that are popular artists. Um, you know, like I said, great stuff start but i would like to see him lower that down a little bit maybe to like the mid range 25 eth or even lower um so some of the smaller artists can also be protected either way great to see that they are combating this type of stuff so hopefully we'll see more and more of this type of thing from OpenSea as we go forward really great news to see here next up we have the tech giant google um, Google Cloud Unit is supporting Web3 developers and they're creating a new unit specifically for that. We have Google's cloud computing division recently announced that it's establishing a new unit that will build tools to support Web3 developers. To support the blockchain developers and blockchain based applications comes after a mounting interest in the world of crypto along with growing activity in the space and adoption of Web3 tools within traditional sectors of the economy. Cloud data storage is mainly dominated by companies such as Amazon and Microsoft. The new team in concern will supposedly capitalize on the opportunities within the expanding community of blockchain-based apps. Web3 technology aims to use the power of decentralization, artificial intelligence, and blockchain and even machine learning for a better amount of efficiency. By bringing Web3 unit to the forefront of Google wishes to make Google Cloud the number one platform choice for blockchain developers. Google Cloud is the search engine suite of cloud computing services. All of Google related projects do run on Google Cloud. 
Though the decision to foray into this space, it shows Google's commitment to boosting its growth within the emerging Web3 space. This comes after Google created a digital asset team at the beginning of the year due to mounting interest in non-fungible tokens. Along with compromising specialized teams members who will build blockchain-related services and applications, the team shall be responsible for efficiently maintaining blockchain nodes. It also have software that will explore blockchain data and third-party applications. So really great to see here, guys. Again, you guys can read the full article link below, but Google is an absolute tech giant, one of the leaders in the cloud computing industry, along with you know Microsoft and Amazon, as they mentioned. So great to see that these guys are pushing things forward and building out for this. You know, we do think that Web3 will be the future and Web3 will replace the traditional Web2 storage on data with the blockchain. And so, you know, building out something to kind of help Web3 developers and still be in the game here for Google is a really great step plus this also you know kind of hints that you know down the road we'll see more and more stuff from google i'm sure as they start rolling out their back end with the cloud computing services maybe we'll start seeing more stuff on the front end of google maybe a login or something like that with an nft that links to your profile i could see that happening in the future sometime not anytime soon necessarily but within a couple years so really great to see tech giants getting in especially google one of the absolute best there is in terms of technology and you know things that are related to tech um cloud computing services whatever so web3 is the future guys this will prove it to you right here google is in google's building what are you guys going to build with your google cloud and moving along, we have the MLB and MLBPA, which is the Players Association, partners with SoRare to launch exclusive NFT game. Major League Baseball MLB Players Inc. and SoRare on Thursday announced a partnership to launch the first Major League Baseball NFT-based free-to-play game, which will be released this summer. As the official NFT baseball game partner of the MLB, this partnership with SoRare gives fans a platform to celebrate, share their own MLB passion through the gaming. For SoRare, the inventors of the NFT gaming category, this partnership expands its unique concept beyond soccer for the first time to America's national pastime. The connection between Americans and baseball is enduring, and baseball has always been on the cutting edge of new technologies and innovation, so we're proud that MLB and the MLB PA have chosen so rare to deliver the NFT MLB game to fans globally. MLB has been in the forefront of interactive games for decades, while baseball has some of the oldest and most established forms of sports memorabilia. Together, they show how much fans want to be owned part of the game. Today, as the digital engagement and technology evolves for a new generation, our partnership will help a new and broader fan base to connect with America's pastime. So yeah, guys, I'm a huge baseball fan, so really great to see this. I used to collect baseball cards as a kid. Um, it used to be like a baseball shop or baseball card shop or collectible shop whatever it is on every single you know city or whatever you had one now they're just about near extinct you have to go to the mall to get like memorabilia and stuff like that and there's only like one store where there used to just be a ton so you know it is kind of like fading out old technology with the baseball cards that have been out since the beginning with like cracker jack boxes i think was the very origins of those and i love baseball cards as a kid so i'm really happy to see you know for the new generation that they can maybe get into the same thing using digital technology and nfts I'm definitely looking forward to collecting some baseball cards here digitally and playing their NFT game. So yeah, this will be exciting stuff here to come this summer and go Red Sox. Next up in the news here, we have IC Tools NFT analytics site is being acquired by QuickNode. Today, the giant blockchain tech provider QuickNode reveals that the NFT related acquisition IC Tools. At this moment, the platform is a leader when it comes to in-depth NFT analysis. Together, the duo will integrate the IC Tools API into the QuickNode's platform. This will allow QuickNode developers and businesses to access key data in the Web3 sector. So on May 13th, QuickNote announced that it had purchased IC Tools, one of the top NFT analysis sites. The platform has been adding value to NFT market since 2021. Basically, collectors use the site to track NFT sales and discover trend projects. Furthermore, NFT holders can check out the transaction history and portfolio value based on their interests. Part of the innovation behind IC Tools is the GraphQL API. This technology allows developers to track NFT prices, trades, and wallet data. The API also offers data from popular marketplaces such as LooksRare, OpenSea, and more. 
Therefore, QuickNode acquired IcyTools to integrate its own API in its own platform. As a result, QuickNode users will soon gain access to analytics and new infrastructure. For example, the integration will include Ethereum, Polygon, and Solana. And just coming down a little bit more, let's take a look at what QuickNodes is for anybody who doesn't know. Um, QuickNodes is a leading provider of API designed for Web3 companies and developers. The company was founded in 2017 at the beginning of the NFT market. Over the years, QuickNode has been bringing out its own input into the outstanding Web3 evolution. Back in October 21, the company raised a whopping $35 million in a Series A funding round. The session was led by Tiger Global, along with Soma Capital, Crossbeam, Ericton SRP Capital, and more. Now that QuickNodes acquired Icy Tools, the company will deliver even more solutions to the Web3 businesses worldwide. This announcement comes as the Web3 world evolves at the speed of light. So again, great news here to see two giants kind of merging up. Um, I did a video a while back on Icy Tools. If you guys want to go to my channel and search that, it was kind of right when they were first coming out here. So I need to do an updated one of them. They've added a ton of features since then. Um, but yeah, if you guys wanted just a little overview of what they have to offer, you guys can search my channel and watch that video. But I really like that platform. I like the tools they offer. So it's really great to see them being acquired by a bigger company and being integrated into something even bigger and better. Um, not super familiar with quick notes, but it sounds like they're a really great company as well. So hopefully they'll do great things together. And that's basically everything for the NFT news this week. Um, I always search the news every single week and see if I can find, you know, some of the best news articles relating to NFTs and Web3. Not a whole lot going on this week, but the market is down across the board. So, you know, kind of just the way the things are right now, the way the market is. But hopefully we got you guys enough news to keep you busy here. Again, if you guys want to read more about them, the links will be in the description below. And if you're looking to create an NFT project or some sort of Web3 platform of your own, make sure you join up with the Abraxas DAO. Links for that will be in the description below and follow us on Twitter at Abraxas underscore DAO. Thank you guys again for watching. We'll see you next week.